Mars is a huge enigma to us, and it's even more so than it used to be. We now know that Mars has a lot of water, at least in its past. It had rivers, lakes, and probably oceans. And yet, Mars seems to not have life. We're still looking for it. We might find it someday. NASA's next rover mission, launching in July 2020, is really set to do something that we've never done before, and that is to collect samples, soil, but especially rock samples that will tell us about Mars' past history and look for life in ways that we could never do before. Getting samples back to Earth represents somewhat of a holy grail because we have so much more sensitive instruments on Earth and we'll be able to do so much more. One of the instruments on the next rover is called SuperCam. Now, SuperCam was hailed by NASA as a Swiss army knife of instruments because it has a whole bunch of tools within one small package. SuperCam can study the chemistry of rocks and soils around the rover anywhere up to 25 feet away, but it also studies the mineralogy of these rocks or gems or whatever it finds. It fires a laser up to 25 feet away from the rover to do a lot of this reconnaissance. The Mars 2020 rover is going to land in Jezero Crater, which has carbonates. Now on Earth, a lot of our sedimentary rocks are limestone types of carbonates. On Mars, we haven't found that yet, but we have indications that Jezero Crater has this material, and we wanna find out why it is there and not other places on Mars. So we're excited to land in a place that has carbonates. SuperCam has a microphone on board. This microphone is going to be the first one to hear sounds. And the wind on Mars is going to hear rover sounds. It's going to hear the shock wave of the laser hitting rocks and soils. And then what else is it going to hear? We don't know. That's the point of discovery with this rover.